Hopefully she's in the mood to eat. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, Carl, good boy. All right, good girl. So I've got to be fairly quick. Very good, that's very promising. All right, good news. Boom, very good. But I think, oh, look how fast he was really swimming there, huh? It may not look appetizing to you, but to a snake or monitor lizard, trust me, that's gonna be tasty. I'm thawing out some rodents right now. So before I feed everybody, I gotta clean everybody. So you guys are gonna come along and do some chores with me. By the way, loving the bike. I've been shredding. I'm very happy. I'm happy because uh, I'm waking up early, riding my bicycle, putting in some good times. You guys can follow me on Strava, Ken and Harkin, if you guys are cyclists and wanna join along. Uh, we're gonna mess with our carpet pythons today. We are gonna meet and hang out with the blackheads, the Timor pythons, and of course, the hog island boas. Uh, probably gonna feed buttercup here as well, and then I'm gonna go ahead and feed some of the monitors. So that's what I gotta do today. But before we do that, I'm gonna start cleaning, let those guys thaw out, and uh, I'll pick up with you when I'm done cleaning and getting the animals ready to be fed. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's camper shout out goes to Patreon supporter Brandon Vitmar. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Okay, uh, so I figured I'd stop real quick and just show you what I got going on. Of course, my good old Fluker water bowl here. I'm, uh, I cleaned it out. Really easy to clean, plus they look naturalistic. I like it. But you can see the um, in here, guys, all of the cypress mulch has kind of rotted away. It's turned into mud. Uh, we got a little bit of rain lately. So I've cleared out an area where I'm gonna put their house back. Um, and then I wanna put not only the bowl, first of all, we'll turn it this way. There's a water spigot up there. Okay, you can see, just make out the nozzle and it drips into here, so we always have fresh water. But I love, love, love Reptibark. Okay, this stuff is really good. Uh, it's a forced floor bedding. Uh, our friends at Fluke have been awesome this year. These guys have hooked us up with a lot of really cool uh, products that we can keep the animals happy and healthy and uh, keeping them in a naturalistic way. So the Reptibark really comes in handy. But what I want to do is I'm just going to, you can't, you can't be afraid to get dirty. When you're keeping animals naturalistically outside, there's going to be a little bit of mud, a little bit of grime. Um, I've scooped out some of the poop. I've put it into there that little five gallon bucket but yeah so what i want to do just move this stuff i kind of like getting dirty is that weird yeah, i don't think so uh and what i'm gonna do is simply put the house here and then put some rep to bark in the pine needles are gonna fall it's gonna be really nice so uh i'm i'm happy to get in here and start cleaning up but i'll be even more happy when we get these hog islands fed okay back at it see ya
Okay, uh, these guys have the pea gravel here. This, I guess it's called Chattahoochee. I scraped off some of the pine needles. I really don't mind the pine needles and I like this stuff because it drains nice. Um, but most of the time, those characters are up there on their perch. I want to find, you know, I, I have all these logs, these cypress logs, they're starting to rot. I don't like how they're wet on the inside any longer. So I think I'm going to try and find here today uh, a new house. So I got to go into the warehouse and start looking around and figure out what is going to be a decent little hide for these Timor pythons. Okay. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so this was a lucky find. This is actually an old aquascape or a leftover aquascape vault extension. It's for the pondless waterfalls. It makes the vault higher so that uh, you can dig that down deeper. Now, I'm sure that Greg and Ed from Aquascape did not have snakes in mind when they designed this, but I had a lid. I had the extension. These guys were awesome when they built the ponds. They left me with a lot of equipment. I put this PVC angle here because I figure if it rains, at least it'll, it, it can't rain inside this hole because I don't have the normal cap. But what's cool is the snakes can crawl in through there, through here, or through this opening here. So it's just a quick, easy house that's going to be very lightweight, very easy for me to lift up and to uh, clean when I have to clean it. Here's, I can spot clean. I put the reptobark in there. Uh, it'll drain. There's holes on the plastic underneath that allow the water to drain out. Uh, so it should be nice. Uh, there's a little mud right here, but no big deal. So I'm pretty happy about this setup. Um, it's very simple. Guys, you gotta also remember, uh, very soon I'm, I'm starting to get motivated again. I feel it. I wanna get those uh, zoo enclosures that I have set up around the property. I'm gonna talk to Mr. Arrington, see if he can get his bobcat over here and we can move those around the, the property and I'll start to work on those. That's where these snakes are gonna wind up. They're gonna wind up in those zoo enclosures. So I can't wait to get to that. Uh, so much to do. And you know what's funny is, how are there earthworms way up here? Isn't that so funny? Uh, figure it out in the comments below. How did the earthworms get up here? Were they in the rocks? I don't know. Do they just magically appear? I don't know. But anyhow, uh, this now looks pretty good. Very simple. The water's gonna be close to them. So when they go in and out, they'll see their water. Um, okay, we just gotta clean this guy. And then uh, I may have to pick up the children from school. Hopefully the rodents will be thawed and we'll get back and we'll feed everybody. It should be pretty fun. I'm having a fun day today. I can actually set this stuff up around here for the box turtles to climb on and to hide in. So I'll, I'll get to that uh, maybe a little bit later. I gotta clean out their water as well, but uh, pretty happy with how things are going so far. Okay, gonna keep going now. <laughs> All 
Dude, this snake is so awesome, and I gotta be honest, his enclosure is pretty darn clean. Uh, so I'm just gonna fill all the water bowls up, and uh, we'll get to feeding these guys here. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to straighten this little mess out quick. Um, man, this this is a lot of fun. Oh, uh, these little latches are getting rusty. No bueno. Okay. He is awesome. I can't wait to get them fed. Look, see, the uh, box turtles are already interested in this stuff. Let me throw that right there. I don't know. I'll just kind of put this stuff on the side right as, right about now. You know, just do something like that. And then maybe throw some right here and they can kind of mill about, crawl in and out of their water with it. See, their water actually drains out. It's clean. It's just got a film from when they drag in all of that dirt and mud. So they do get clean water it's just like i spray this out again these guys are funny very active little turtles as you can imagine all right here's some stuff i thought these guys would nibble on some of the greens but i guess ferns are not exactly their favorite okay all right guys so um here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna finish cleaning up pick up the chitlins and uh, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to this video and we'll be feeding some snakes and some lizards. I might do something special with Slinky. We maybe we'll bring him out of his cage and feed him out by the pond. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, look familiar? Well, it is time to feed. I'm really happy about what we got done today. There was so much I needed doing and um, thanks for joining me, man. I like to show you guys everything that goes on what well, uh, that's involved really in taking care of the animals so today we're going to feed these snakies and some of the monitors uh, actually all of the monitors what i did was because we've got a little different uh type of food today i went ahead and i did separate the snakes out it's going to make things easier so we got colin in there and peter's in here and i have to use small rats today for those guys so they're gonna get two rats a piece and it would be just too much chaos as you guys remember these two will sometimes uh, get so into a feeding frenzy that they'll strike each other so what I figured the smartest thing to do is to just do a dual feeding situation so let's go ahead and we'll get Peter fed first um, and to be oh she made a stinker too yikes uh, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and give her one and then I'll put another one in there Hopefully she's in the mood to eat. Oh yeah, no problem. <clears throat> she's in the mood. So we'll have her feed on that one. And then I'll go ahead and put another one in there. So those two will equal up to be one giant rat. So that's pretty good. <laughs> so she'll stay in. She may have to stay in overnight. But I'll come out here later and I'll make sure that um, we went ahead and get her out of this. I don't want to leave her in this during the heat of the day for obvious reasons. She'd overheat and that'd be no bueno for our girl. So what I can also now do is feed Colin. Here he is. Okay, Colin, good boy. So we'll let Colin get a feed. I love how quickly they strike. These are carpet pythons, they're constrictors. So they are very good at eating animals in the trees and on land. I'm gonna put this other guy right here. And again, we're gonna come back, or rather I'll come back, I won't bore you guys with that and just make sure they've eaten everything. Uh, but yeah, very good. All right, now we gotta move on. We got a lot of animals to feed today. It's really awesome when you get, oh, by the way, I also, cleaned out their enclosure a little bit. We put the smaller water bowl, water bowl in there since the temps have calmed down. We don't have that ugly concrete mixing tub. Say hello to the blue iguanas, Hunter and Mackenzie. Very good, let's go get, um, we're gonna go ahead and give some chicken, a chicken dinner to Lagatha. Here are the red foots as we walk just past the pond here. All right, oh, you guys, by the way, Lumpy's been doing fantastic, moving around, doing his thing. Where is he? I just saw him over here, actually. Where the heck is Lumpy? I don't know. But there are those zoo enclosures that I want to get moved and I want to really get to work on because I think that would be um, a very cool uh, snake habitat. Plus, we're going to be getting some new members of the camp. Um, I'm planning a trip to go up to New Hampshire to meet Kevin McCurley in person. Met him once before, but I'm going to go give you guys an inside peek at Nerd. 
So uh, when I go up there, he supposedly has black dragons hatching. So I'm pretty excited about that. Black dragons, everybody. So uh, that should be cool. Hey, girl. I'm here for to feed you, hon. Let's give her a chicken. Little chick right here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there you go. Easy, easy. There you go, sweetheart. So she's definitely lost her fear of me. She realizes I'm the guy that brings her food. If you've been watching some of the older videos or just ones that I've been doing here in the last couple of uh, weeks, you're seeing that we've been making just some tremendous, tremendous strides. Uh, she's still got a pretty healthy feed response when we do chicks or rodents. But as far as uh, when I do the hard-boiled eggs or something, she's really chill. Look at that. Good girl. So Lagoth is doing great. Uh, just a good scene all around. Pretty happy about her. Um, we're not going to spend too much more time with her. That's it. She's got four chicks. Good girl. And you can, if you can look in her mouth, you'll see those teeth and you'll also see her trachea. And that is what enables her to stuff her face like that. But she's able to continue to breathe. And look, there's some blood from her gums. You see that, guys? That's how sharp her teeth are. They're in these sheaths in her gums. And every time she bites down, she runs the risk of actually uh, piercing her own gums. So they get bleeding gums, which gives her some uh, a very menacing appearance. Don't you guys think? Pretty nuts. All right, that's all the food we got for you, hon. We got to get moving. Pretty cool. Oh, and of course, these guys, they're gonna get fed tomorrow. Uh, I got a whole new shipment from Fluker coming in, so all their food's coming tomorrow. So we'll get those guys all fed up nice. Okay, lock this up. Uh, yeah, it's always fun to get in and um, kind of rearrange some of the enclosures, make sure they're clean, make sure the animals are healthy. It's just a fantastic way to make sure that the animals are uh, good. To be perfectly honest, no lumpy. He's been very, very mobile, which makes me happy because as you know, he had that gout in his shoulder and uh, that was no good. All right, now we're gonna save uh, Slinky for last here. So let's just see if we can make it through this enclosure without him bombarding us. Oh wait, you know what? I'm sorry. Guys, we gotta get Buttercup fed. So let's do it. You can see how she feeds in that large enclosure and how you have to be careful with big snakes. We opened the door already so I can just get right in. She was poking out right there. So we gotta, gotta unlock it. Keep everything locked as per Fish and Wildlife's regulations. There we go. And she's already creeping out. She hears this door or she rather sees me opening this door right and um that means it's time to eat so what we have is three jumbo rats for her okay she she's gonna get three jumbos let's hope she strikes properly all right good girl there you go so she just gets on it real quick here uh sometimes i like to come in and just move it around and she'll throw another loop on it. So there you go, really quick. So she strikes and she'll get them down, that's for sure. No worries. So I'm gonna place the others on this feeding rock right there. And then we can move along. We're gonna move along to Pinky. <laughs> I almost forgot, I had a special, a special, uh, order that i was gonna go in now they'll only eat like this once a week uh the snakes once every couple of weeks um the monitors are a little bit more active so i do feed them all more often um as far as prey like this they're only going to get this about once a week i do pellets the croc chows and things like that the rest of the time so already pinks is here so let's get a hmm let's go with a chick first and here we go right at it my gosh right at it kid then i want to give her a rodent as well so we did we did this not too long ago you guys saw the video um we're gonna go maybe one rodent 
another chick. There you go. So she's just gonna have a really good mix of food right there. So not a problem. Right down the hatch. She's a good girl. We love her. Which will she prefer? Will she prefer a rodent this time or is she gonna eat another chick? And it's good to give that variety uh, on these animals. I also give her fish. I'll throw a cast net into my um, pond and I like to get fish out for her. But uh, yeah, no worries. Everything's been going really well. So down the hatch, kid. All right, have fun. So I'm really excited uh, for next week when I get to go down and hang out with the guys at Nerd, or rather go up and hang out with the guys at Nerd. Really interested to hear Kevin's thoughts, see his, uh, his operation, see how he uh, handles things being so far north. Um, I think you guys will get a lot out of that video. Uh, and we're actually going to have a couple videos with him uh, because we're going to be spending a whole day there. So I'm going to maybe do some species specific videos with Kevin and uh, just super stoked. All right, we'll get to you in a minute there, good man. Oh, look who it is. These guys think they're getting fed, but no, I'm sorry, guys. You don't get fed today. You got fed yesterday, but they're always hungry, these maniacs. Guapo and Lola, they'll just have to hang, hang back. All right, so I've got to be fairly quick. Uh, in here is one of the Timors. So what I'm going to do is get you guys on board here, just like this. It's a little crooked. And then let's see if we can get the team. Let me see if I can open it. See if we could get the team more interested in this, this food here. I think so. Very good. That's very promising. Uh, that means they'll take food um, right from it. These mice, or rather these rats, were um, rats that I uh, caught myself, froze them for a while, and now they're food. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try a chick also. And see if these guys well you know what i'll save that chick for the other team more but let's go ahead and give give that guy another one of these all right and like i said i'm going to come back check this now this is really nice and clipped okay so now we move over here we're going to move over to the hog island boa that's in this enclosure there she is move this back a little let's see if she'll take you never know if they'll take a prey item in a new, with a new situation. So where is she? Here she is. I don't know. This might be... This might be too new for her. Let's see. All right. Good news. Good. That makes me happy. Just put the other one in there. And we'll give her, they're a little bit larger. They're a little smaller, actually, these might, these rats than I thought. So these guys are nice and secure in here. Let's get to the hog island up here. do it like this I really want to pull the snake further out to be honest but I might not be able to boom unreal huh that is one hell of a strike super fast super clean you know what I mean all right I'm gonna put this other one up here and then we'll go ahead and put yet another one up there as well and then hopefully, Snake will come back and grab him. And if not, I do have a garbage disposal by the name of Slinky, who will have no problem eating all that stuff. Like I said, these are getting rusty, which is why I do want to get these moved. Okay, Timor. I'm gonna go for a chick. I want to see if I know they'll eat birds in the wild, so let's see if this will be the first time feeding this one. Oops, this one ate chick. Well, oh, 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 
Oh, good man. Missed the first strike. Woo. Very cool. All right. Chicks, no problem. And I'll go ahead, lay this one right up there. Okay. So, I don't know how you guys do it. Let me know in the comments. How many snakes do you guys have? How do you keep them? Would you like to keep your snakes outdoors? Is it something that you'd love to do? Let me know, man. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, that's that. All right. Okay. One more snake left, and that is the blackhead python. Oh God, such a beauty. Such an absolute beauty. And look at how active and alert that animal is. Let's give him a nice rodent here. Zeroing in. Whoa, and a miss and a hit. Oh, there we go. Let's move it, let's move it. That's that. Great. Holy smokes, man. Put that one right there. And another one. We have plenty of rodents. I'll probably go back and give the um, carpet python some more, to be honest, because it looks like I thought out plenty for everyone so they can each get three. Okay, well, wait a minute now. What does that mean? It could only mean one thing. Let's finish this video up, people. Let's get Slinky to do some fun stuff for us. We're gonna go ahead and do some enrichment with Slinks. See if we can get him moving around a bit, which I don't think is gonna be a problem. We'll go with a chick first. Watch this guy go. Chit, hip, hip. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good man. He guessed that shit. All right, he's on to his people. Let's go rodent next. Can you climb? Can you come up? Can you come up? Teaching my dragon here. Oh, come on. It's just out of reach, Slink. Oh, that's a boy. Good boy. And you'll see uh, zoos do this as well. They'll tie off, um, you know, food items to get the animals to tripod, to kind of reach, to really work for their meals. Um, so important. I like that, by the way. I like that tripoding. That was pretty cool. Come on. Come on up here. He is such a... Oh, come on, you big lard. Yeah, good boy, Slinks. How cool. All right, let's see if we can get him. Let's get him another chick. And maybe we'll bring him up here. What do you think? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, use those claws. You got to go. You got to work for it, kid. Got to work for it. You don't want to get tubby. Come on, Slinky. Uh, 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 that's a boy. That's a good boy. All right. Come on. That's it. Come on. Almost. Oh, you got it, man. He is so fun. Uh, this is a really cool exercise for him. It's great just to see him do his thing. Come on. Come on. You're going to hunt in the water. Oh, yeah. Big splash. Big, big splash by the slink man. All right, we're going to save those two. And then I guess we'll just feed Slinky the rest. He is a big boy. This is going to be a heavy feed. But I think, oh, look how fast he was really swimming there, huh? And then there's crazy Sophia doing her thing. Come on, Bubba. You got room for more. I know you do. That's a boy. All right, Slinky. We have nothing but chicks left, buddy. How about we start doing two at a time? What do you think? You got them? Yep, not a problem. I would say this has been a fun day, people. Uh, as always, I just want to say thanks for joining me on these little uh, 
backyard adventures here with my animals. I love, um, I love sharing with you guys. We have some new things coming this fall. It's starting to cool down. Hurricane season's ending. Oh, thank goodness. So um, I'll be getting back to work building cool enclosures and making sure that these animals have the best possible life. And uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys because you've been really um, following along here, really getting to know the animals, some of our new viewers. And uh, we really appreciate you. So thank you so much. If you guys are interested, you can check out our Patreon page. Uh, just Camp Cannon on Patreon. If you like what you see here, if you get value out of what we're doing, go ahead over and uh, check out what we give to you over there. Uh, we got a really cool crew of people over there that are uh, pretty hardcore Camp Cannon fans. And I do appreciate everyone who watches these videos. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and the bottom of this guy's tummy. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, buddy. I ain't got no more food, man. No more food. That's it. <laughs> All right, everyone. You saw it here. Slinky kisses for everybody out there. Thanks so much. We'll see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really like it, turn on those notifications. All right. See you guys.